Welcome to St. Mary's Children's Chapel. I'm Miss Amelia and if you're watching for the first time I'm so glad you're with us today and if you are one of our longtime friends I am so glad you're here with us this morning. I miss you so much and I hope that you are well. We have learned over the last few weeks that church can happen anywhere and so today we brought church outside. I know you guys have finished up your schoolwork for the year and hopefully that means you get more opportunities to be outside in God's beautiful world and so we're going to worship out here today and maybe when you are worshiping at home watching Children's Chapel you could even watch outside too. We start Children's Chapel by saying God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Hi friends! Today we're going to be reviewing a song that we've done a few times in Children's Chapel now called Seek Ye First. You might remember it. Uh, but just in case, let me remind you of the words. The first verse goes, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia. The second verse goes, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Alleluia. And then we'll go back and do the first verse one more time. So if you messed up the words, you get a second chance at it. So uh, here we go. <clears throat> Now we'll hear a story from the Bible, God's story of his love for us. One of our friends will be presenting this to you, and I hope that you use your listening ears and your listening hearts. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are doing well. I miss seeing you at church, but I'm so thankful I can bring church to you today, this morning and read you a Bible story. The Bible story is from the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. As I read to you this story about Jesus healing people, I want you to think about two things. One, unexpected answers, and two, not giving up. So, here we go. Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. From there, Jesus took a trip to Tyre and Sidon. They had hardly arrived when a Canaanite woman came down from the hills and pleaded, Mercy, Master, Son of David, my daughter is cruelly afflicted by an evil spirit. Jesus ignored her. The disciples came and complained. Now she's bothering us. Would you please take care of her? She's driving us crazy. Jesus refused, telling them, 
I've got my hands full dealing with the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came back to Jesus, went to her knees and begged, Master, help me. He said, it's not right to take bread out of children's mouths and throw it to the dogs. She was quick. You're right, Master, but beggar dogs do get scraps from their master's table. Jesus gave in. Oh, woman, your faith is something else. What you want is what you get. And right then, her daughter became well. I think what Jesus is trying to tell us is that even if we don't get the answer that we want initially, or the result is unexpected, to not give up, that if we feel that something is important to us to keep trying, he will see how hard we are trying and help us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The Bible has so many stories about God's love. I want you to think about the story that you've just heard and how God might be asking you to love in a new way, how God might be asking you to grow, how God might be asking you to use your heart and your hands to help the people around you. Let's say our children's creed together. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. And I believe his spirit too comes to teach me what to do. And I believe that I can be kind and loving, Lord, like thee. Amen. Now it's time to say our prayers. Before we begin our prayers, I want us to stop and take a minute to take three deep breaths. Close your eyes. Take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. I want you to stop and think of something that you saw or heard this week that encouraged you. And say, thank you, God. I want you to think of the people who love you and help take care of you. And say, thank you, God. I want you to think of all the wonderful things that came your way this week. Popsicles, a slice of watermelon, a comfy bed to sleep in. Say thank you, God. I want you to think of one or two ways that you might use your words and your actions to be encouraging to the people around you this week. I want you to say, please help us, Lord. I want you to think of the people who are suffering today, who might be sick or hungry or alone. Please help us, Lord. I want you to think about yourself and how you're growing in God's love. And that's a hard thing to do. I want you to think of something that you need help with this week. Please help us, Lord. Lord, I ask that you hear all the prayers of these dear children. Lift them up. Love them up. In your son's name we pray. Amen.
Shalom, my friends, shalom, my friends, shalom, shalom. Till we meet again, till we meet again, shalom, shalom. Shalom, chaverim, shalom, chaverim, shalom, shalom. Lahitraot, lahitraot, shalom, shalom. Shalom, my friends, shalom, my friends, shalom, shalom. Till we meet again, till we meet again, shalom, shalom. I hope you enjoyed our time together in Children's Chapel today. I hope you go outside and enjoy all God's beautiful creation this week. And I'll look forward to seeing you again here next week. Go in peace.